Hey guys, so for today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding a cleaner shrimp to my 20 gallon saltwater aquarium. So let's dive right into the video. So I just got back from the pet store and I picked up a cleaner shrimp and a little piece of coral. This is a leather coral and I'm just gonna let these guys sit and acclimate for a few minutes. It's been exactly 40 minutes since I started acclimating and I'm gonna go ahead and just put them in the tank now, pour them over a net. And in he goes. Now I'm gonna put the leather coral in. I'm just gonna put them over here by the feather duster worm for now, kind of a low light area. The next day. So it's been a day since I added the shrimp and he really likes to hide out here in the corner, which I was kind of expecting that. I knew I wouldn't see him out in the open that often. And moving over to the leather coral, it's doing really well. It's actually tripled in size since when I got it. It's kind of a nice little neon green color, which is awesome. But back to Mr. Shrimp over here, like I said, he's doing super good. So I'm gonna go ahead ahead and try and lure this guy out with some mysis shrimp so I'm gonna go ahead and mix some up right now so the shrimp is just hiding behind this rock you can see his little antenna sticking out I'm just gonna come in with the little mixture that I made with a syringe if I can lure him out you can see that Scott the clownfish really likes it he's coming out oh he really likes this that's pretty cool I'll actually get some shrimp out for him I never thought of this but this is mysis shrimp and He's a shrimp, so I don't know if he's considered cannibalism. Here comes some more round two. This is pretty cool. I didn't think he'd be this interactive. It looks like he's going back to hide and eat it. So I'm gonna go and feed the corals now. And now that I'm done feeding the saltwater tank, I just take the excess and feed it to the fish in my freshwater aquarium. And I'll just go ahead and dump this in here. One week later. So I'm a little freaked out right now. Uh, I just got back from school and I was looking in the tank and then I saw Mr. Shrimp's exoskeleton. And I kind of forgot that shrimp shred their exoskeleton every few months. And it was kind of scary because I thought he died. And Bob the sea urchin over here is just kind of munching down on his exoskeleton and hopefully he'll eat it all. I don't know if he will. And if he doesn't, I'm gonna have to go in and take it out. I don't want it just sitting in there. But that was kind of freaky. So if you ever get a cleaner shrimp, just know that they might shed their exoskeleton. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you wanna see more fish tank related content, consider subscribing. And I just wanna say thank you to the subscribers and viewers because we recently passed 900 subscribers, which is insane. I never thought that I'd get that many. So again, I wanna say thank you. And if you want to see even more of my aquariums, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram at Barry's Aquarium. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next video.